Danny's Auto Repair. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on this 2020 Chevy Equinox. Now the problem here was that this is my brother's car. He lost the um, the wheel lock key to take off his uh, wheel lock here as you can see. I was looking for it and I couldn't find it either so I'm not sure where he put it at. But the thing is that the wheel lock is lost. The key for that is lost. So we cannot take this out. So what I'm going to do is, as you can see here, I took one out already. Right there. See it's missing. So now I'm not doing this video for anybody could go out there and do the same thing. This is only for your personal car if this happens to you. So I'm not responsible for anybody else's mistakes, guys. So don't go around taking off wheel locks because you could get in trouble. So I'm just showing you how to do it because I lost the, we lost the wheel lock, the key for that. But um, this is all you need, guys. If you lost your wheel lock, just get a hammer like this, decent sized hammer. You want to get a, uh, let's see what size this is, a 21 millimeter, 11 point socket or 12 point socket, whatever that is. And it's going to fit snug on top of the uh, wheel lock so you just want to get a little size I believe this is these are 19 so this one is bigger see so it fits right snug on top of the wheel lock so a size 19 millimeter and like I said you want to get this nice hammer and if you have a, a nice little cheetah bar like this because this is gonna help you to take to take it out of the socket when you remove it and you want to either get a punch like this and if you don't have a punch, you can use a small extension like this one. So I'll show you guys. And like I said, this is only if you lose your wheel lock key. Oh, and also, Get yourself one of these uh, pry bars. Oh, I gotta put it in a little bit more, guys. that'll do it there there you have it just like that see so now you want to take it out of there so what you want to do is this Take this little bar that I was telling you about and you put it like that. And then this, you're gonna put it in here because it fits in there nice and snug. And then you put the extension in here or your punch and you hammer it down. And it comes right out. Hit it with the hammer. Here it goes, just like that. You see the uh, socket bites right into it. I don't know if you can see that. So it helps take it out. So there you have it guys. That's how you take out a wheel lock. And only if you lose your wheel lock, like I said. Don't get any bright ideas, because you might pay dearly for that. So that's how you do it guys. Now I'm gonna take out one more. Well, I got two more to take out, but I'll do one more with you guys. We gotta take out all four of them. We gotta buy new wheel locks now. Hopefully my brother doesn't do that again.
like that. Put it back in here. So just like that guys, all right? So we're gonna do the other one and that's it. be honest guys the socket is still good this is a nice tecton uh, 21 millimeter socket so it's very good condition guys even though I hammered it a few times very good condition so it's, re it's reusable There you have it guys. That's it right there. So like, share, subscribe guys, and God bless. That's it. So take care guys.